Scorpios is really private, but we'll sting if you get close. And they rule by planet Mars, they stay determined and don't go. Don't make a Scorpio strike because they venom pack a punch. So you better come correct, cause like a shark, you can't get much. Scorpios get what they want, and what they want is what they get. They appreciate the ones they love, they ain't what the fix shit. They don't really like people switching up, and they can't be kinda controlling like bitch. Shut the fuck up Scorpios are leaders and they always think ahead And they also open minded so you gotta give them credit If you date in the Scorpio and they like you They will make you happy They also like a meal so in the kitchen No you can't be like Scorpios are often trendy and they got the best drip And they do not disappoint man you just gotta tap in This is 1028 Awakenings and I'm back again with another motherfucking podcast. Check it out on Spotify and a couple of others. iTunes We can take on everything. Sometimes we we can't take on everything. That's strength. Mm -hmm. Vulnerability is strength. Being able to have a good cry is strength. And and letting people see you and not caring what they think so you can get free from whatever bondage you're in. That's strength. Yes, it is. What's up, y'all? This is 1028 Awakening. And for the first time on this channel, I did a reading that was saying that somebody was going to bring some fuck shit, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, to your doorstep. And I'm like, yeah, there's just no way that this is applicable, you know, for me. And last night, I actually saw in, in real time how this 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 actually happened to me. Um, so a lot of times, you know, we do readings and stuff and people put themselves and assert themselves in places in my life that they think that I'm talking about that when I, I really just am not. I'm really just pulling these cards. I cannot tell you what the card is going to say, you know. <laughs> it just isn't like that. Now, there are things and visions and stuff that I will say that will spark different things because this these readings are here to let you know that we're all divinely connected together. I am not by myself. We're all connected. We need each other. Shout out to the guy that walked up to me at motherfucking Kroger, okay? This moment changed a lot of perspective. There's a, there's, th- this happened to me one other time and this girl was like, oh my God, you the couture love girl. I'm like, oh my God. But with this YouTube thing and this boy being a Scorpio, I just feel like it was a whole vibe, man. Like, I just feel like, you know, I'm helping. You know what I'm saying? And you're real. Uh, you know, on my side, it's all digital. You know what I'm saying? But him, he, he ain't he ain't even come up on me like a creeper either. He was like, man, you on YouTube? I'm like, I am on YouTube. He was like, you got a Scorpio page? I was like, I do. He was like, man, I love you. And I mean, I gave him a hug. I was just so happy. I wish I would have did a video with him and stuff like that. But I had to go help my best friend. So, you know, this this video is just a dedication to him, man. You know, I ain't even do no videos that day. But just know that, like, you know, I'm, I'm thankful for you guys. And, and talk to me if you see me out. Let me know. We'll do a video. I'm, I'm a nice person. I hope he thinks I'm a nice person. I really am a nice person. <laughs> okay, you know, and I love you guys. And he just gave me so much happiness and just joy. Um, I'm not saying I want to be famous. You know, I'm not saying, like, I got to be, like, you know, Chris Rock or sell out the whole. I mean, it's okay. I'll buy somebody a G-Wagon, like, you know, just random, like a random fan. I'm going to be a good giver of gifts. You know, Oprah was giving out fucking Honda Civics. Bitch, you can give out a G-Wagon, ho. All right, let's start this reading. (laughs) All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. What's going on for Scorpios, okay? What's good for my Scorpio? And I don't know what's going to happen. I know how my energy feels, but we don't know what's going to come out, all right? So, Scorpio, dang. Okay, so... We got distorted masculine energy and we got partying and playing games, okay? So, Scorpio, you might have been somewhere where somebody was partying, playing games, hyping it up, doing the most. But with distorted masculine energy, they could be very dominant, okay? They could be very forceful, but they use their energy for bad. Ooh, this could be somebody who's going to text you or is trying to communicate with you and you like, mm, bitch, I'm not going to talk to you about that shit right now, okay? But whoever this is, this, is, this, this could have been at a party where there was a disco ball. This also could be just somebody who just play games too much. You like, damn, nigga, you always playing, okay? Somebody just need to stop playing so much. And whoever this is, this is somebody who abuses their power, okay? So a lot of people could listen to them, but they always steer a whole group of people in the wrong fucking direction with their bad energy, okay? This also could be somebody who consumes a lot of alcohol, all right? Now, whoever this is, they look damn good doing it. I ain't gonna lie to you because this bitch is fine, okay? <laughs> okay? Um, but whoever this is, you know, 
they they force domination and they like to force fear that's how they feel good about themselves now this person could have gotten this done to them in many different societies or different situations where other normal people aren't and this is why they dominate a crowd to this magnitude because maybe this person had to be forced and feared into a particular situation and they realized fear is good i always tell you guys like saying that you can burn in hell is a fear so you're like man i ain't gonna do that shit because i ain't trying to burn in hell but in actuality when you go on the other side of that fear there's really nothing fucking there okay there's no devil you are the devil in your own life you know you if you always complain that your life is shit your life is shit because you always complain but if you're always positive and you're happy then you manifest what you talk about what you desire all the time okay so just know that so we're talking about somebody who always shit talking always playing games okay and this is somebody who's very dominant right they may pay all their bills they may be very focused this guy may be like bitch i could do it i got it i got your rent in my sweatshirt that energy is here you feel me but it's distorted you use your you use all your money to manipulate hoes and, and trick them out of shit you know what i'm saying it's like who the fuck want to do that you know who the fuck want to be that so this is the energy that we talking about today okay okay so whoever this person they saying they got evidence okay somebody saying they got factual proof on your ass they know you done did something okay or you know they done did something all right but whoever this is this is somebody who play games they masculine and there's evidence that you did something or you were moving in some kind of direction okay okay all right so we got oh you don't match your match okay so scorpio somebody is like you know what i really can't compete with this person we got hook here so this is somebody who is bisexual this is somebody who like girls and like boys okay because this is here so this is somebody who who's trisexual i'll say um let's see what well, we got a distorted feminine energy here too and as well okay so we are here and we got one-sided love so scorpio this shit is sideways so Whoever this is that's saying that there is some kind of relationship, it's one-sided. One person like the other person, the other one don't like the Now, Scorpio, this could be a two-faced friend. You could be going hard as fuck for a motherfucker, and this motherfucker really ain't going hard for you, all right? This also could be a lover with jealousy here in reverse, with one-sided to be in reverse. This is crazy. I retract my per previous statement. I'm sorry, I didn't see that. Okay, this is a balanced relationship. With one-sided love and jealousy in reverse, this means that that one person loves the one person and the other person loves someone else, okay? But there is some kind of jealousy here. So this could be a firm foundation of something that's really beautiful being destroyed by somebody always playing games, somebody always trying to fact, fact check something. And this could happen between a friendship. This could happen between a social setting um, in your social life, a social group, a group of friends, okay? Now, whoever this is, they're very dominant, but they use their power for bad. And with distorted feminine energy, this could be somebody who looks very feminine, okay? But it's actually very distorted. But they've met their match. So whoever this is, like if you're the light part, part of this person, they're the dark part and they're the big boss dark part and you could be the big boss light part and y'all are going head to head scorpio whoever this is with y'all energy but with hooked here this person is also low-key infatuated with you this person also want to eat your box or suck your cock okay i ain't trying to be disrespectful but this is what hook says it says addicted to something or something so somebody is very addicted to you all right they like the fact that you're dominant and you're in your feminine energy or you're dominant and you're in your masculine energy and even though this person wants to destroy you and attack you they also secretly care about you and like you and want to do something sexual to you look at look at this girl one girl is looking like bitch i'm not looking over there and then the other one is like um i want to fight you and love you and it's it's just kind of weird okay it's kind of it's giving that weird energy i don't know what that's about but yeah i'm just telling you what's on the board okay all right but there is some kind of solid solid firm friendship solid firm marriage solid firm situation but it is very shaky because of like all this energy that's around it we also have another card that's oh somebody about to fall off the grid scorpio you might be like i ain't fucking with this shit i ain't fucking with this shit we got being cooped up in their room not socializing being a hermit and not on social media okay so scorpio let me pull some cards on that scorpio who is out here looking at you okay so somebody could be off the grid this is somebody who's not really on social media I honestly feel like this is a totally new energy or this is you pulling away from all these motherfucking people and just like, fuck y'all, figure it out, okay? But we're off the grid here. I want to just pull on who this is. This could be somebody who wear glasses from time to time, but not always, but just when they want to. Off the grid. What does off the grid mean? 
Okay, this is somebody who's thinking about getting a divorce or going to court for a legal procedure. Okay, somebody is concerned about court. It don't always have to be divorce. It could be a settlement. It could be it could be any fucking thing that you go to court for, okay? But we're off the grid here. This is somebody who's not really doing much. They're not really showing much or they're just not really being like they're just anti-social media. But with courthouse here, there are some things brewing here like going or changing something legally is important this also could mean that somebody is being off the grid because they're about to get married you know they're about to just tie the knot and make something completely official here even though this is a one-sided situation with jealousy here in reverse okay when it's sideways like it's gonna it's gonna tip whatever this is this is tipping like this was something balanced but now it could be something totally different here and somebody is saying like they may want this commitment but not on these terms and circumstances because they're not true Oh, yeah, somebody's going the wrong fucking way. And whoever this is, this is an entrepreneur. I don't know. This story has very turned for the for a different path. Okay, so whoever we at, whoever we talking to, Scorpio, Crosswatcher, whatever it is, this person is independent or this is you. You built your own shit. You stand up on your own two feet. And with Pathways, somebody else did that too. You and this person shared this energy at the bottom of the deck energy because the question I was going to ask was do y'all share the same vibrational frequency and y'all do now with pathway in the reverse somebody regrets the path that they took they they regret the decisions that they make uh this is sad i'm going in this and i'm not saying it because i'm sad i'm sad when i do that sometimes and i just abruptly cut it's like if you a scorpion you know you've been fucking with somebody for a really long time you know you don't really like them no more it, it's it's time because of the aquarius area that we in to tell that person the truth because they they feel that vibe too everybody feels the same vibe when the vibe is off you know what you were like man we bumping in the gym you know we vibing and you like man i don't fuck with little shawty no more yeah i can't fuck with him because you know something ain't right with him you ain't got no proof but you know it so this is what's happening it's making somebody draw back it's making somebody really like think about the decisions that they make because somebody's about to make a big step forward when they know it's the wrong damn way all you have to do is believe in your dreams and they will manifest for you. If you believe positively, wholeheartedly, have faith in yourself, and I'm not just talking about sitting on the couch saying, I could do this. I'm talking about doing it. Get if you want to be signed yeah. to such and so record label, act like you already they artists and do a record every day. Prepare yourself.